and here we have the Galaxy Note 8.0. Uh, this is um, Samsung's 8-inch uh, uh, Galaxy Note Android tablet. And uh, before we dive in, let me just show you the size comparison. Um, this is the Galaxy Note 2. Um, it's the 5.5-inch smartphone that some have called a phablet. So you can get a, a sense of how big this is in comparison. Um, in fact, it's just about the size of an iPad mini. And that's the iPad mini right there, which is about 7.8 inches. So um, this is uh, falls squarely in the middle between the Galaxy Note 2 and the Galaxy Note 10.1, which is a 10.1 inch tablet. So the defining characteristic or feature of any Galaxy Note product is the S Pen. Um, and this is the Samsung stylus. It's, uh, it features Wacom technology, which a lot of uh, old Windows uh, tablet users will be familiar with. Um, and it has a pressure sensitive tip, it has a little button here, um, and it has all kinds of functionality for the device. Um, most notably, you can use it to navigate through home screens and move things around. You can also use it to take a screenshot by holding the button and pressing it to the display. Um, you can also use it to, uh, you want, if there's something you want to uh, copy and put in a presentation, just grab it and copy and you can paste it right to the, your uh, clipboard. Uh, so it's very very similar to a PC uh, within that, in terms of that functionality. Uh, you can also use it to write things in, in notes and one of the um, applications that really takes advantage of that is Samsung's S Note app. So here we are in S Note, we're going to start a new note and this is a pretty robust uh, application. Uh, you can do all kinds of things. I mean you can you can write obviously um, but you can also uh, do handwriting to text. Um, you can also do shapes. It has shape recognition. So if I draw a circle, it will create a circle. So there are, there are all kinds of things you can do. You can uh, grab things from the clipboard and paste it in. You can paste in images. You can um, record uh, sounds. Um, all kinds of things. It's a really robust um, application. Uh, another one, another notes application that is actually exclusive to the Galaxy Note 8 at the time of this video is Awesome Note. And Awesome Note is actually uh, much more robust. It takes all your notes, uh, your calendar, it takes, uh, you know, you can create a shopping list, a to-do list, uh, you can track tabs on anniversaries, check out your calendar, um, you can segment notes by work, study, scrap. Um, recipes, thoughts, it's really a robust um, application for, it's, it's almost like a daily organizer on your um, exclusive to the Galaxy Note 8.0. So the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 has, uh, for specs, it has an 8 inch display. Um, it's 1280 by 800 I believe. Um, it's powered by a quad core Exynos 1.6 gigahertz processor which is really uh, top of the line at the time of its release. Um, it has on the back a 5 megapixel uh, rear camera and a 1.3 megapixel uh, front-facing shooter, and that's uh, pretty standard and compares uh, to other tablets available today. Um, it, at launch, it will cost $400, uh, which actually makes it a little more expensive than uh, many other tablets. That's $20 more than the $380 iPad mini, and uh, certainly more expensive than the $200 uh, Nexus 7 and uh, Kindle Fire uh, tablets. So looking at the Galaxy Note 8.0 from the side, we have a power button, uh, volume rocker and this is an IR blaster which is an interesting feature it's uh, not on many tablets but Samsung likes to include it um, essentially through um, a peel um, the peel universal remote app that's included on the tablet and this IR blaster you can turn this into a universal remote so yeah, you will never forget it or leave it behind hopefully um, on the bottom we have a couple speakers and the uh, little uh, uh, pin charging connector and then on this side, um, this is where the micro SD card hides. Now the international version of the uh, Galaxy Tab, I'm sorry, Galaxy Note 8.0 has a SIM card slot so you can make phone calls with it, but in the US um, you can't make phone calls with it, there's no SIM card slot. And at the top that's just a headphone jack.